hello all uh, welcome back to the another lecture so in this particular lecture uh, we will see the matlab simulation of buck boost converter in open loop so till now we have seen the basic concept for buck converter boost converter buck boost converter after that we have seen how to do the small signal small signal modeling of buck boost converter now we will see the matlab simulation so initially we will see the open loop uh, simulations and from this i will tell you that what is the problem with the open loop why we have to go for the closed loop uh, control why the open loop control is not sufficient for practical application simulation of the buck converter we will see first and then a boost converter so the parameters for the buck converter i have listed out here so input voltage 100 volt output voltage 40 volt i am taking so from that i can get my duty ratio what is the expression for duty ratio we have already derived okay output by input then i have some power requirement of 1 kilo watt i have calculate the output current resistance i have calculate i have the switching frequency of my converter as 50 kilohertz then uh, delta il I have considering 10% of the output current then delta v0 I am considering the 0 point like 1% of the output voltage and inductance value and capacitance value so if you put these things in the script file in the MATLAB so you will get all these results so just I have calculated the value of C, L, D everything here and I will put these values in the MATLAB so i will uh, quickly uh, take you through the matlab slide and there we will do the simulation with this particular parameters so uh, you can see on this your screen so you can see on your screen this is a, a buck converter which is i am showing here so this is the dc voltage you will get just write it down the uh, dc voltage source so from this you will get the dc voltage set one particular value this is my mosfet if you write it down the mosfet you will get the mosfet uh, here right this is my diode okay this is my uh, series rlc batch okay i hope so you know how to do the matlab simulation so you just search the series rlc branch not load okay if you consider the load load is different thing so consider the series rlc branch electric specialized power system okay and from this you can make it as r l and c okay so i have taken them and just uh, made the circuit now i have put this this is a current measurement block so to measure the current through the inductance i have put one current sensing block this is again the another current measurement block for measuring the output current this is my voltage measurement block to measure the output voltage and these are the my go to blocks okay i have just uh, labeled it as il i naught and v naught so that i can use them uh, somewhere else right so values of l i have whatever i have value i have calculated from using those formula i have just kept this value l value similarly the c value i have kept the same whatever i have calculated and uh, similarly r value whatever i have calculated i have put it now what is this this is the pulse generator so we are not doing the closed loop so i am providing the get pulse to the my uh, mosfet so that it will be turn on and turn off accordingly so in get pulse what i have to write it down amplitude is fixed one one m one volt now the switching frequency i have the one switch uh, fixed switching frequency that is 50 kilohertz i have put it the 50 kilohertz here then a duty ratio so i have the fixed duty ratio right so i have calculated a duty ratio as 0.4 so that is why i have write it down 40 percent so you just have to put these two things and okay so my setup is ready and this is the power gui block which will calculate the dynamics of the circuit inductance dynamic capacitance dynamic all these those are a dynamic element it is for those calculation purpose okay now i will just simply run it and we will see the result in the scope what is my actual output requirement output requirement is a 40 volt so whether i am going to get the 40 volt or not i will see so i am just running it 
so I have run I will just open the scope you will see the scope result so you see the output voltage so if you see the output you will find out that uh, output is nicely uh, coming to 40 volt okay so it is near me 40 volt so 40 40.1 40.1 so it is acceptable so my output is uh, properly coming right you you see here it is uh, properly uh, coming as a 40 volt then if you see my ripple in the inductor current you will see the 10 percent ripple whatever the ripple we have set you will get the same kind of ripple okay so it is nearly 10 percent of ripple in the inductor current you are seeing these are the nomenclature il v naught and i naught this is my output voltage output voltage is 25 amps it is showing Inductor current and uh, basically uh, output voltage is nearly same because average and value through the capacitor current is zero but still the current is flows through the capacitor but its average value is zero okay so this is all about the my open loop buck converter simulation result I am getting nicely 40 volt nearby output now uh, we will see the boost converter output so if you see second thing that is simulation of the boost converter so these are the parameters i have set for the boost converter so input is again my 100 volt output is 160 volt d is 1 minus v in by v naught and output power requirement is again 1 kilo volt and other thing you know just i have changed the l and c calculation formula whichever we have derived in the previous video the same formula i have put it here now uh, see uh, if you put these things in a script you will get uh, these values so the same value I will use in the my file okay so I will go to the boost converter simulation so this is the boost converter now you know other things L value C value how to get this block what is this pulse generator and everything so I will just simulate this particular thing and all the values are same you can see that whatever value I have calculated there and shown the same value I have used here I will just simulate it and I will show you so output requirement is a 160 volt so you will see that okay so some transient is there at the start which is acceptable up to 0 0.01 second this transient are acceptable so no no need to worry but you can see the output whether output is coming nicely 160 volt or not you will see so you can see that nearly perfectly 160 volt output I am going to get it is fluctuating maybe from 159 to 161 but average in value is 160 so which is our desired and I am getting and inductor current also you will see right so inductor current is there so everything is I am going to get properly so uh, duty ratio I have kept it here that is how much my switching frequency is a uh, time period 1 upon 50 kilohertz 37.5 like 0 0.375 is my duty ratio for this particular converter so when I simulate this I am going to get all the result accurately right as we have seen everything is perfect when we are doing the open loop system operation so we have seen the simulation of the boost converter also so we got all the result now what is the problem with the open loop system why we need to go for the closed loop system that I am going to tell you so we will go to our any of the buck or boost file okay so these parameters are same now what happen if now my amplitude input voltage is 100 let us say because of the some reason this amplitude dip down to 90 volt now with 90 volts if I run the simulation can I get the same output voltage let us check so my output voltage 160 which is my requirement now I am not going to get 160 volt so my power requirement will not be sufficient because output whatever my desired output is there that is I am not getting here right so this is the problem for me if the input voltage fluctuates even if it 110 volt my output voltage I am not going to get proper let us see 160 requirement we will fulfill or not if the there is a change in the input voltage so you see again my output voltage is coming or not now what is the output voltage I am getting it is not 160 it is higher than 160 so this is not my requirement right 
so if such thing will happen then what i will do right if the voltage is 100 volt input then only i am going to get uh, uh, my output as properly now in practical system my load may change now here the load is this much now because of the some uh, load transient load may change maybe 5 ohm again load change so if the load is changing whether i am going to get my output or not let us check so let us see I'm, whether i am going to get 160 or not if i am seeing now okay with the load change i am getting near with 160 volt right so there is no issue with the load change again if i am changing my uh, value more maybe i am going to get the desired because my output requirement is fixed and power output requirement voltage output requirement is fixed and power output requirement is fixed so if the load is changed current draw by the system will be decreased but overall output v naught will be remain same but what if if the load is a constant current load that requirement is a constant current that time if the load changes its constant current will not be the same it will change so that time uh, we can't do anything with it so because of this reason there is a need of closed loop system so that is why we are very much interested to form the closed loop system so what is the problem so poor load regulation if the load changes my output voltage should be constant and if the constant current load is there so current should be constant so if the open loop system is there this will not going to be achieved second thing is sensitivity to the input variation if the input is changing my output is also going to be changed so which is not desirable to me right so how should i uh, eliminate this problem by using the closed loop system no compensation for component variation if the value of the inductance capacitance change so whether the my system will manage itself and give me a desired output no inability to handle the transient if the transient uh, sudden change in the current sudden change in the voltage is happen so it will whether it will handle it no if it is an open loop system it will not handle then because of this open loop system i am going to reduce my efficiency also so because of all this reason i am very much interested to uh, implement the closed loop system so that is why we will go for the closed loop system operation you understood now now if i using the voltage mode control i will change my now now as so far what we are doing we are directly giving the duty ratio but if i change my output voltage and give the my desired reference output voltage it will generate its duty ratio accordingly so whether in that case we will see if the input is changing that time also it will maintain its output voltage constant okay and if the load is also changing that time also it will make its output voltage constant in the same way when we implement the current mode control that time also we will change the voltage also and current also so in this case we will make the current also constant and voltage also constant and that is a double loop control strategy okay sometimes single loop is not sufficient to handle the uh, overall performance so current mode control we will implement so we will see those concept uh, later in next videos so till this time so thank you from my side hope so you have learned the basics of matlab how to take the blocks from this video if you don't know maybe most of you know then how to do the open loop simulation how to take the gate pulse how to give and how to see whether the input output is changes with respect to change in the input and all how to write down the script and whatever the things which we have learned initially those things we are utilizing now right so all those things which we have learned these are very useful so i hope so you enjoy this video so from the next video onwards we will see to implement the closed loop control of the buck and boost converter so thank you